My name is Kaylee Jones and I am a senior platform administrator um, for the OpenShift platform with the digital office. Hey, yeah, I'm, I'm Omar Kanji. I'm a software developer here at the Ministry of Citizen Services. Hi, I'm Nick Corcoran. I'm the security architect on the platform services team. My name is Alex Lloyd and I'm the UX researcher for the private cloud team. My name is Olina Mitowska. I'm the director of uh, private and public cloud services in the digital office in the Ministry of Citizen Services in the BC government. OpenShift is a development platform uh, that we're using for modernizing the way software gets developed um, in government. It allows for teams to build modern cloud native applications in a very easy and safe environment. The benefits of the private cloud OpenShift platform go beyond just the technology. While working on the platform, you will be a part of the community of more than 150 other product teams that together strive to initiate a culture shift within the government um, that values collaboration, communication and speed. This is the community that takes care of and supports each other and works together to solve the unsolvable. OpenShift um, makes it easier for teams to provision their server resources and go through that journey. The big value is the speed, right? The speed at which we can produce um, a, a viable product that's going to get deliver business value um, and reduces those barriers that we've had traditionally of, of having to do things uh, through iStore requests. The other big thing is that there's a lot of sharing within our community, right? So the ability to leverage those images or um, code that other teams have, have produced already um, gives us a great starting place and lets us deliver the value to our businesses even faster. We use OpenShift because um, it's based on the uh, Kubernetes technology, which is a technology for running um, containers that uh, is a very commonly used um, open source technology. So it has a lot of support in the community um, and uh, OpenShift is specifically um, a type of Kubernetes that is run by Red Hat. So we kind of get the best of both worlds, uh, the benefit of uh, open source and the benefit of having um, like a, a vendor supported product. I really enjoy the documentation and some of the guides provided by Red Hat. And for me, that's been the best part because I have an idea of what I want to do and I don't have to look too far to find good documentation that can show me what I need to do and all the commands necessary. So that for me, that's been the best part and that's what makes it easy. We have close to 400 applications running uh, in the private cloud OpenShift platform. All of the applications are important and provide uh, essential services to the citizens of British Columbia. Uh, among other services, uh, we have uh, court services that the judges use in courtrooms to obtain materials um, for hearings. RCMP services, family and child support services, natural resources ministries um, have multiple applications hosted on the platform as well, including wildfire predictive services and uh, mines digital services. BC registries and um, service BC um, teams host their services on the platform as well. The ability that teams have had to be able to stand things up quickly, especially when we've had uh, things come up like our COVID registration um, have been um, super valuable to the public. Um, and th that's really the one that comes to mind uh, as, as the big one for me um, because of the impact it had. I think the application I use the most on the platform is the BC Services card. And um, during the height of the pandemic, I probably used the vaccination app the most, the vaccine card. I think a really good example of an application uh, running on the OpenShift platform is one of the very first ones that I had the opportunity 
uh, to work on, or I guess work with the team that was developing. It was a application that was developed to help BC cattle farmers uh, be able to schedule their access to um, the public grazing pastures. It basically was just um, a calendar in which, you know, people could schedule access um, to the pastures. It wasn't a particularly big project and one of the problems um, that the government was facing previously with the way software was developed was there was a lot of overhead. It made the development of these really small applications um, not very financially feasible. OpenShift really helped to change that and made that kind of uh, application a lot more financially viable. So um, it was something that was one of the first applications on OpenShift um, and I think works really well as an example of some of the stuff that um, might never have been done if not for the creation of the OpenShift platform. One thing that um, is huge about security is that um, it's all about driving down the opportunity for bad things to happen. Part of that that can happen as a result of human error. A lot of our tooling is built on automation, which helps reduce that opportunity for human error to happen. So it allows for consistency and reduces that footprint of, of um, errors that could um, become exploitable in the future. We also have tooling on our platform to help teams understand where the weaknesses are within their code, uh, within, within the images that they deliver, so that they can remediate those before they can get exploited. I guess the way containerization was explained to me as a non-technical person was if um, you have different rooms in an apartment, um, so you have different environments, and if something goes wrong in one environment, it's not going to affect all the different rooms. So if you have a flood in one room, the whole house isn't flooded. It's just contained in that one room. Containerization. It's really helpful because it solves the, oh, it worked on my computer problem, but for some reason it's not working on yours. So once an app is containerized, we can all play with it and use it um, because we're all using the exact same thing. Not all applications are suited for containerization, but a lot of applications, especially the sort of applications um, that are run by government and especially the ones that are citizen facing, um, really benefit from containerization. Containerization allows us to develop uh, software using these sort of modular images. Um, it means that the first time that you say create a container to uh, run a database, um, you now, you know, have that and can reuse it again later, um, even for slightly different purposes. It's very efficient uh, when it comes to being able to um, add more containers of the same software um, to be able to handle additional load. So we have two data centers. One is in Kamloops and our fallback data center is in Calgary, Alberta. We're also investigating some other clusters within uh, the public cloud space that will provide some value there, but we're still in the early days of investigating that. Building and hosting your new service uh, on the private cloud OpenShift platform is free today. Uh, it will continue to be free uh, at least until the end of the um, 2023-2024 fiscal year, so um, we don't expect there will be any cost recovery model in place at least until April 1st of uh, 2024. Now, free from a financial standpoint um, in hosting, the ministry team still have to pay for their developers and, and any contractors that they may need to develop their applications. If you'd like to find out more about our service, check out the documentation on our website or reach out to us at platformservicesteam at gov.bc.ca.